Hey guys, it's you, Sophia from Fitness and Fighting, and this week's video, I want to talk about Himalayan salt and why you should use it. So the origins of this Himalayan salt comes from the Himalayan mountain range, which stretches across from Asia, like India, Nepal, Pakistan, all that area. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of years ago, crystallized sea salt beds were covered by this lava in the mountain range. And this lava protected the salt from modern day pollution. And Himalayan salt, or pink salt, is now known to be the purest form of salt on this planet because of that fact. It is now hand-minded and brought to the culinary market to be sold around the world. So now you might be thinking, why this salt? Why not table salt? Why not sea salt? Well, table salt, also known as refined salt, the salt we use to flavour our food, we use it to cook. It's 97% sodium chloride and 3% are just purification chemicals, as they call it. Now, sodium chloride is a posh word, well, the scientific term for salt. So the, the 3% of chemicals are like moisture absorbance, iodine, they've got like silicone, and they use silicone for it so it pours out a lot smoother, so it's not as sticky. And they also put the salt under extreme amounts of heat. And when they do that, they do it for the purification, whatever bullshit basically. And when they put it under that extreme of heat, it actually changes the salt's chemi natural chemical structure. Let's talk about sea salt. Sea salt would be fine if we went back 200 years ago. But in this day and age, especially with the sea of toxin levels and mercury levels, unfortunately, us humans have messed that up as well. It seems like whatever humans touch, they just destroy. Himalayan salt, on the other hand, is 85% sodium chloride and 15% is basically these trace elements and minerals. And I'm going to put a link in the description of all the trace and minerals they have if you want to have a look. I don't want to really be going through all of them and, the, and what benefits they have. These trace elements and minerals that this salt has, our body needs. So this pink Himalayan salt can create an electrolyte balance. It balances the pH, the pH levels, alkaline to acidity, bone growth. It helps with ligament repair. It helps with sleep. It maintains healthy skin, absorption of nutrients in your gut, which is very important. Helps with lower blood pressure. Also detoxifies the heavy metals in our blood during you know this tap water nonsense that's been going on with the testers where you can have a look at how much algae, bacteria and metals like zinc and copper in your tap water. Another thing I wanted to talk about guys is how the media has had us like salt is bad for us and how you know the, the media, government, uh, these world health organisations tell us to reduce our salt intake because it's number one killer for strokes, heart attack, cardiovascular disease and all that bullshit. Salt, we actually need salt to live. We cannot survive without salt. Salt does so much for our bodies. The regulation of blood pressure, it maintains and regulates, helps with metabolisation, also helps with brain development and helps with the nervous system, helps with muscle contraction, also helps with metabolism and digestion. The hydrochloric acid in our stomach to help with digestion. And where do you think the hydrochloric acid comes from? We get it from sodium chloride, which we intake with by salt with the foods we have. Don't believe everything you hear in the media and the, even, you know, we can't even trust our government with, when it comes to, you know, keeping ourselves healthy. We can't trust the government, who the hell can we trust? That is the question. <laughs> We're gonna go in my kitchen and we're basically gonna make this sole water that I make. It basically consists of Himalayan salt and water. The equipment we're gonna need is Himalayan salt, a jug and some water. Preferably filtered water, distilled water or just go get a bottle of water from, from the shop. Pour the Himalayan salt into the jar and you're gonna pour it in, depending how big the jar is, you're gonna pour about a quarter of the way up the jar and then you're gonna fill the rest, you're gonna fill the rest of it up with water. I don't want you to go right to the top, I want you to go until the salt's f filled up and, and double that amount. So just say you put a quarter, I want you to put a quarter of salt, and then I want you to put another quarter to make it a half. So then you're gonna leave it overnight for 24 hours, 
and then you're just gonna wait. And in the morning, when you come and have a look in the jar, and it basically has no salt at all, I want you to add more salt. So the mixture between water and salt is solid. And baby, can we make love with that throwback tonight? Baby, can I kiss you like it's throwback? And baby, can I fuck you like it's throwback? Anyone can say that girl, I want you. But I can kill your January blues. We could sip coca, puffy yossi by the ocean waves. And if you're feeling bad, we